As fish capture from the sea is declining over the years, aquaculture is the only hope to meet this increasing demand. India has a pride of place among the aquaculture nations of the world and occupies the second position in fish production. The growing demand for aquaculture products across the world has made it imperative for the Marine Products Export Development Authority or NPEDA to initiate steps to meet this requirement. India has a fair share of freshwater bodies which can provide substantial revenue in the rural areas. It has more than 20 fin and shellfish species which can be cultured. Brackish water aquaculture, which was predominantly focused on shrimp farming, has evolved into various fin and shellfish aquaculture. India has a diversity of species available like grouper, snappers, cobia, pearl spot, tilapia, sea bass, freshwater and cold water catfishes, mud crab, and Artemia. The potential for breeding and farming these commercially important fish is enormous in the country. MPEDA's primary focus is to intensify aquaculture through interlinked farming methodologies to produce high-value species for export markets while expanding intensive culture systems using water bodies which are available to the fishing communities be they on the coast or in the hinterland. MPEDA has been continuously striking new paths to improve production practices in an efficient and cost-effective manner. MPEDA has initiated innovative diversification techniques, new production methods and training through its research and development arm. Rajiv Gandhi Center for Aquaculture RGCA Propagation of developed technologies through demonstrations with technical and financial support is being made available to the farming fraternity. Round the year, seed production through captive maturation of brooders of sea bass was accomplished for the first time in the country by RGCA. Today, sea bass is cultured in fresh water, brackish water and sea water. The pond-based cage culture technology developed by RGCA with support from MPEDA has helped farmers achieve significant fish production. Utilizing abandoned freshwater ponds, farmers at Vedaranyam in Tamil Nadu have grown sea bass up to 21 kilos in size. The fillets produced from cultured sea bass are exported to EU. Mud crabs are yet another species of shellfish exported from India in live condition. However, the mud crabs being collected mainly from mangrove lagoons, backwaters and seas has led to the depletion of resources. To avoid depletion of this natural resource and to increase the production of mud crabs, RGCA has educated farmers in the latest technologies for breeding and farming through pond culture. This has resulted in production of more than one metric ton of mud crab by small farmers in the coastal states of West Bengal. Urissa, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh. The natural stocking of mud crabs in 2009 by RGCA significantly improved the population. Until recently, groupers, which are of high market value, were collected in the wild from the Andaman Islands and exported to Southeast Asian countries. In order to reduce the pressure on wild collection, MPEDA has initiated cage culture breeding and farming of groupers through RGCA. This provided an alternate livelihood for fishermen. Similarly, cobia is yet another species for breeding and culture. It is available in the south and west coasts in large numbers. The breeding and farming of exotic strains of tilapia, such as genetically improved tilapia, all male tilapia and red tilapia strains are being presently bred and cultured under biosecure conditions. This will scale up the production of tilapia in the near future. Production of Artemia biomass, the brine shrimp in salt pans, is propagated by RGCA to provide opportunity for coastal salt pan workers to increase their incomes. Availability of world-class processing, value addition facilities and packaging sectors currently contribute significantly to the seafood export sector. 
adherence to world food quality norms, establishing proper cold chain and distribution systems, setting up fish vending shops within the country across metros, labs for random analysis of fish are all underway to take India to the forefront of becoming the largest producer and exporter of aquamarine products in the world. Beginning with the Matsya Avatar, fish has always been an integral part of the Indian psyche. Worshipped as a goddess in some places, fish has been the economic activity for a number of people, both for fishermen, farmers who culture it, and those who sell it for a living. Export of fish began from the country in the form of dried fish. This developed into canning of fish for export. India is now on the threshold of becoming a major player in international seafood export of value-added products. We have the best of production lines, we have the best of facilities in the country. We have also a number of schemes going to ensure the product, the quality of the product and the taste of the product meet international standards.